everyone, it's Linnea, and today we're going to do another HSN throwback project. Today I'm using the Peace and Joy paper pack from HSN, and I'm just going to take a peek through these papers and find one that I like for my card. Now remember that these papers are double-sided. You're going to find bolder patterns on the front and then more subtle patterns on the B side, the back side of the papers. So make sure that when you're designing your card you look at both the front and the back. Also included in this paper pack are a few pages of pop out ephemera pieces which make it really easy to create fast but beautiful cards. So I'm going to take a look and I'll pick out a pattern and one of those pop out pieces and start planning my card. So here are the pieces that I chose, but I knew that I needed something to help kind of break up that pattern. It's very busy, but I really loved the way those ornaments kind of peeked through this modern geometric A2 cover plate 1 die that I had in my stash. So I die cut that from some heavyweight white cardstock, and I'm going to add liquid adhesive to the back and just go all around the edges as well as any of the main areas on the back of that cover plate die. And then I will layer that die cut right on top. And again, I love how those ornaments kind of peek through and it kind of helps to break up that pattern just a little bit and help my embellishment really become the focal point of the card. I wanted to keep with that pop of white trend, so I cut a piece of white cardstock that is just slightly larger than that embellishment piece, and I used a tool that I haven't used in a long time, that is my corner rounder. Since the edges of that ephemera piece were round, I thought that I would go ahead and round that backer piece as well. All that I need to finish this card is a sentiment. So I grabbed another stamp from my stash, another throwback product. This is the Christmas Wishes Wave Stack, and I'm going to stamp that with my Raven Hybrid Ink. I love the LDRS Creative Stack stamps because as you can see there, it's one stamp. You stamp all your sentiments all at once, and then I use the Wave Ribbon Banner Die to cut out all of those sentiments all at once. I added some foam tape behind my ephemera piece, and I'm going to put that right in the center of my card front. And then I'll add my sentiment right across the middle of that ornament. And I did add some foam tape to the back of my sentiment strip as well for a little bit of extra dimension. I wanted to add some shimmer and shine, so I finished this card with a few bits and bobbles here and there. And I also used my glitter pen to make the ornament and the bow shine. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. This project was so quick and easy. I hope it inspires you. I'll see you again soon. Bye.